Welcome back to One Dish Kitchen. Today we're making five single serving meals made from one rotisserie chicken. Buying a rotisserie chicken from the grocery store is perfect for meal planning. And I think you'll love that these meals come together quickly too. So let's get started. Remove the meat from the chicken. And I think it's helpful to portion out about a cup of meat and put it in several zip top bags. That way it's easier to grab when you wanna make one of these recipes. Now cooked chicken can stay good for up to four days in the refrigerator, stored in an airtight container, or up to four months in the freezer. Recipe number one, chicken spaghetti. The first recipe I'm going to make is chicken spaghetti. This is the ultimate comfort food. Tender spaghetti enveloped in a rich, creamy, and cheesy sauce. Traditionally, it's made with canned soup and canned vegetables, but not with this recipe. Everything is from scratch. Here's what you need. Bring a medium-sized pot of water to a boil over high heat. We're using two ounces of spaghetti, which is approximately the diameter of a quarter. Since we're using a smaller pot, break the spaghetti in half and add it to the boiling water. Cook until al dente, about seven to eight minutes. Drain and set the cooked pasta aside. Melt one tablespoon of butter in an eight-inch skillet. Add a quarter of a cup of chopped onions and cook until the onions have softened, about four minutes. Add one tablespoon of flour and cook, stirring frequently for one minute. Stir in a quarter of a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, a quarter of a teaspoon of kosher salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper, and an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. Next, pour in a half of a cup of chicken broth and a half of a cup of milk. Stir until smooth. Cook stirring frequently until the sauce is simmering and has thickened, about five minutes. Add one cup of diced or shredded chicken to a bowl. Add chopped tomatoes. I used one small tomato and a half of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Stir in the sauce and then mix in the cooked pasta. Transfer to a bowl or plate. Since these are single serving recipes, you might wonder what to do with any leftover ingredients. Well, we actually list other recipes and ways to use up leftover ingredients so there's no waste. You can find that information in each of the recipe links below. Recipe number two, chicken fried rice. I love this recipe because it's a great one to use if you have leftover rice from a previous meal or leftover vegetables that need to be used up. The recipe is super easy to customize. Here's what you need. Melt a half of a tablespoon of butter in a medium sized pan over medium heat. Add a half cup of chopped onions to the pan and cook stirring occasionally for one minute. Add a clove of minced garlic to the pan and cook stirring occasionally for about 30 seconds. Add about one cup of cooked rice and cook, stirring for 30 seconds. Push the rice, onions, and garlic to the sides of the pan. Add one egg to the center of the pan and cook the egg until it's scrambled. When the egg is almost completely cooked, mix it in with the rice-onion mixture. I'm using peas and corn because that's what I have on hand. So add a half of a cup of peas and a half of a cup of corn to the pan and stir in a half a cup of diced or shredded chicken. Cook stirring frequently for about one minute. Stir in one tablespoon of soy sauce, taste and add salt and pepper if necessary. Recipe number three, chicken enchilada verde. This version of chicken enchilada verde is so easy to make. Instead of filling and rolling the tortillas, the ingredients are layered casserole style in a small baking dish. It's made with jarred salsa or tomatillo sauce and some of the rotisserie chicken. It can be ready in minutes. Here's what you need. Heat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In an eight inch skillet over medium heat, add a quarter of a cup of vegetable oil and heat the oil until it reaches 350 to 360 degrees Fahrenheit. Add three tortillas, one at a time, until lightly browned. This only takes about 20 seconds each. Set aside the warm tortillas on a large paper towel lined plate. To assemble the enchiladas, place one to two tablespoons of the tomatillo sauce on the bottom of an ungreased small baking dish. Place one tortilla on top, then top with a half of a cup of cooked chicken and sprinkle with two tablespoons of shredded Monterey Jack cheese, or use your favorite cheese. 
Place another tortilla on top of the cheese and repeat with another half cup of the chicken and one tablespoon of cheese. Place the last tortilla on top, cover with roughly a half a cup of tomatillo sauce and top with about two tablespoons of cheese. Place the dish in the oven and bake for 15 minutes or until the cheese has melted. Feel free to add sliced avocados, fresh chopped tomatoes, sour cream, crumbled cotilla cheese, chopped cilantro, jalapenos, anything you'd like. Recipe number four, chicken and golden rice. Chicken and golden rice can be ready in less than 30 minutes. It's made with onions, tomatoes, turmeric infused golden rice, and of course the rotisserie chicken. Here's what you need. Heat a half tablespoon of olive oil on medium high heat in a one quart saucepan. Mince one clove of garlic and add it to the pan and cook for 30 seconds, stirring frequently. Add an eighth of a teaspoon of ground turmeric and one half of a cup of uncooked long grain rice and cook, stirring occasionally for one minute. Add one cup of chicken broth, a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper to the pot and bring to a boil. Reduce the heat to low, cover, and cook for 20 minutes until the liquid is absorbed and the rice is tender. Remove the pan from the heat and set it aside. Place one cup of warm diced cooked chicken and about a quarter of a small onion thinly sliced and a Roma tomato that I've chopped in a serving bowl. Mix in a teaspoon of lemon juice. Spoon the rice mixture into the bowl. Then whisk together two tablespoons of low sodium soy sauce and about an eighth of a teaspoon of hot sauce in a small bowl. Drizzle over the top or use it as a dipping sauce. Recipe number five, chicken chili. I make chicken chili quite often because it's a meal that comes together quickly, the flavors are incredible, and the fresh peppers and blend of spices make it absolutely delicious. Here's what you need. In a medium-sized skillet over medium-low heat, add one tablespoon of olive oil and then cook one cup of chopped onions for about three minutes until the onions are translucent. Mince one clove of garlic, add it to the pan, and add in one small red pepper that's been cored, seeded, and diced into large pieces and cook for one minute more. Then put in a quarter of a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. Cook for one minute. Pour a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes and a half teaspoon of dried basil into the pan. Bring to a boil, then reduce the heat to low and simmer uncovered for 15 minutes. Add one cup of chopped chicken to the pan and simmer uncovered for another five minutes. Transfer the chicken chili to a bowl and top with shredded cheddar cheese and sour cream if you'd like. So there you have it, five single serving meals made from one rotisserie chicken. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like, and subscribe to our channel and check out our other recipe videos. At One Dish Kitchen, cooking for one is all we do. Bye for now.